Welcome back to Show Me St. Louis. Are you in pain whenever you walk? Are you looking for relief? Dr. Shortino can provide it with the SuperPath hip procedure. What is this? Well, the SuperPath is a new kind of hip replacement procedure. It's, it's similar to the type of hip replacement we've been doing for years, but it's a, it's a minimally invasive procedure. In other words, one of the neat things about it is we don't have to ever actually dislocate the hip. A lot of people don't realize this, but when you have a hip replacement, one of the first things you have to do is you have to dislocate the hip. In other words, you have to pop the hip ball out of the socket Ugh. in order to work on it. So you, in order to do that, you have to cut a lot of muscle and tendon and tissue um, to be able to get the hip dislocated. So does that mean that this recovery is a lot easier? Oh, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. I, do, I can do the whole procedure without ever dislocating the hip, so I don't have to cut all the same tendons and muscles and everything. So people can get up and, and walk sometimes the same day of surgery. You know, no certainly, kidding. Yeah, certainly the day after surgery. A lot of times people go home the, the day after surgery, the morning after surgery. I, I mean, this is amazing, because this is what's going to go in your hip, right? Correct, Show me these. Correct. This, this is the actual type of hip replacement that we've been using. And I've actually been using this same brand, this same type of implant for more than 10 years. And what so, is it? I mean, it looks fancy and kind of shimmery. What is yeah, that? This, this particular part is called the acetabular component or the part that goes in the socket. And it has a rough surface. It's made of uh, titanium, uh, this surface here. And the bone actually grows into it and onto it. And then there's a in the inner part has a metal or a plastic shell that snaps right into it, and that's got the sort of the low friction uh, part of it. So this how part how long goes is that going to last you? I mean, I'm guessing you're not going to have to have your hip replaced again. Well, that's that's a good question. I mean, it's hard to know exactly how any individual hip is going to ask. But what I do know is that the hips we put in 15 years ago, there's about a 90 or 95 percent 15 year survival. That doesn't mean they're all going to wear out in 15 years. That means that you know they, some of those still may go on. And the type of implant, the plastic that we're using, is now improved compared to what we were using 15 years ago. So it has even better wear characteristics. So, you know, whenever I put one in, I'm hopeful that that'll be the last time they need it. Okay, the patient will need right. it. Right. But there still is some, you know, gradual wear that can can occur. Who's a good candidate for this? Well, it you have to have hip arthritis, and arthritis has to be severe, severe, um, and it really has to interfere with your life in terms of day-to-day -day activities. Um, it's, you know, it's not going to help if you're, you have a problem with your back or with a muscle type of problem. So, I mean, the very first thing you need to do is, is get a diagnosis. You need to see your doctor um, and, you know, take some x-rays. And if it's pretty bad on, on your x-rays and if it's, you know, if you're limping, you can't get around, um, then this is a good procedure for you. When you have this uh, in your hip, what's going to happen when you go to the airport and go through security? Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's a good question. A lot of I get that question all the time. Everybody asks that. And the answer is it may set it off, but it may not. It kind of depends on how many nickels you have in your pocket and things like that, too. The implant is mostly made of titanium. So that actually doesn't really attract a magnet. So a lot of times titanium doesn't set off you know, metal detectors. There is a little bit of, of another type of metal called cobalt chrome, which is the ball part. Uh, in the hip, and that can uh, set off the metal detectors. But a lot, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Interesting stuff. Yeah, it's fun. Jones and Shortino Orthopedics is located on South Woods Mill Road in Chesterfield. They're on the campus of St. Luke's Hospital. Visit stlortho.com or call 314-434-3240 to find out more. They have two informational seminars coming up at the Total Joint Center of St. Louis on May 18th and again on June 20th. Go to their website or give them a call to sign up.